Hello, welcome to Scrap Time, episode 713. My name is Christine, and on today's episode, I'm showing you some stencils from Artist Seller. Today, I am showing you some stencils from a new company called Artist Seller. Uh, all their stencils are six by six. This one here is a four pack, and it's called the Japanese Geometric Series, and it comes with these four designs. So I'm going to show you what I made using that one. I made this page here. I'm going to pull out the stencil just to explain how I was able to fill the whole page. Here's the stencil. What I did is I started with it here and then when I went to do the bottom I just moved it and matched up the pattern, did the bottom and that's how I did it over here as well. So that's how you can full you can uh, fill a whole page, even though the stencil is only six by six inches. Now on this page, I had uh, well, I'll start to say with all the samples, I have used a molding paste with the stencils. But on this page, previously when I was showing you some Luminart products, we had done this page. So I just had white molding paste that I stenciled over top. However, because it was a water-based product underneath, you'll notice how the white has taken some of the color properties from underneath. And so it doesn't look white, it looks sort of the purples. And that's because we did it over top of a water-based um, medium. So now the next one I'm gonna show you is this traditional Japanese series. Um, again with the six by six and you get some ocean waves, cherry blossoms, some arrows and the dragonfly. So I'm going to turn to that page. So this time I laid down um, some strips of Japanese paper underneath in white and I just wanted the flowers coming across. And I tinted my molding paste to form the pink. I had used white and I had used this Liquitex ink um, in red, but just a little bit of it so it would go pink. But there's so many, you can tint your molding paste with so many different mediums. Um, just test what you're working with. Now, after I had tinted it, I had excess because I was just doing this. So I just want to show you here. I just took my knife and I just ran the molding paste over top to form a texture here on the bottom of this page. And then I can work more on top of this later. But if you do have excess molding paste, just brush it or not brush it, but like move, rub it onto another page because uh, it makes a really nice texture. Okay, so we're going to move on to another series. These are just beautiful stencils. They're like uh, church windows, all that stained glass effect. You can see all the different ones. I'm going to show you what I made for that. <clears throat> so this time I painted the whole bottom of the page in a black acrylic paint. I wanted all that black to already be there. So then I took my white molding paste and I did all the, all the designs. And I did the same thing with moving it around. Um, I started in the corner here where the flower was and then just flipped it and flipped it here so I'd have that pattern. So then what I did is I took my acrylic paint with some multi-medium to make a glaze. And I made a glaze out of these colors because I didn't want it solid, solid. I want to give that sort of effect of stained glass. And I was really happy with how that one turned out. And now I have one last series to show you. This one is really fun. It's all the different gears. It's a lot of detail in all these different dies. They're really nice. And I had a lot of fun with that one as well. So I will show you that page. So this time, I put my molding paste down in a white on white page. After it dried, I took black paint and I painted the entire thing black. And then I went back in with some metallic paint I had and filled in all the gears. 
And that is how I got that effect. So you can see, see the gears in that page. So those are the four sets of stencils they currently have available. And now I'm going to show you how to use molding paste with the stencils. So I'm working with the Golden Gel Medium Light Molding Paste. I like the light molding paste just because it seems to dry a little quicker. You open it up, you see it has all the little peaks. So you just pull out some paste like that. And because I have the craft mat, I'm going to just work directly on my craft mat. I'm just going to work with that much of it for now. Now I'm going to color it again with the Liquitex ink in Cerulean Blue Hue. <clears throat> so I'm just going to drop some color on there. And depending how blue you want it, uh, you can add more or less color. So then it's good to use one of these little, um, what are these called again? Oh. Spatula. Little spatula, they're not quite a spatula, but anyway, you can get them in plastic, you can get them in metal, whatever you want. Just because if you if you were to mix this with a brush, um, you're going to get all that stuck up in the bristles of the brush. So you shouldn't do any really color mixing with brushes. You should do it with these. So you can see how beautiful that molding paste is now in that blue. It's really pretty. So I have my Ocean Waves um, stencil here, and I'm putting it in my book. And I'm starting at this corner. Now if you were just doing a page that's not in a book it doesn't matter so much where you start you can even start in the middle and work out but because I have this binding here I always start to my binding so I can work out and down so line it up where you want it and then what you do is I just work with the back of it I pick some up and it's like icing a cake you just want to I like to just ice it flatter apply it flat down um, but because it's molding paste, you could go as thick as you want, and it'll hold whatever size you do. So I'm just layering it in like this. I went over here. You can rub that off. If you're continuing on, you don't really want to get it off the template. Now I just hold the stencil with my hands. Um, if you were concerned, you could tape it down. You could even mask off around it down or mask off around it if you were concerned that you might get these smidges over. I usually did pretty good. I didn't get too much over top. I'm just going to pick up a little more here. Smooth it out. Okay, and now for the big reveal. You can see how beautiful that looks. Now I got some smidges here. Because it's still wet, I can wipe them off a bit. And then once this dries, I can then... Uh, put my mask over or put my sense over top and just carry on with the pattern throughout the rest of my um, page here. But you can see how nice and now it's going to have that nice dimension to the page as well and how beautiful that looks. So these are the stencils from Artist Seller. Well that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca and on our next episode, I'm showing you the Edge Abilities by Spellbinders. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.